Kimberly Moore, author of Starcross, the story of astronaut Lisa Nowak. You might remember this case from back in February 2007. And that is when astronaut Lisa Nowak drove from her home in Houston, Texas, all the way to Orlando International Airport to confront a romantic rival for the affections of fellow astronaut William Ophelin. This case really shocked the public for two reasons. Uh, one, she was an astronaut. Those are some of the most elite professionals in the entire world. They're brilliant. Most of them are engineers. They're pilots. They're fighter pilots. A lot of them are scientists. Uh, Nowak herself graduated from the United States Naval Academy at a time when women didn't attend there in great numbers. Uh, she also could fly about 30 aircraft. Uh, including experimental aircraft. She was incredibly bright, and it just uh, was amazing that she descended into the ranks of mere mortals and attacked somebody uh, over romance. My involvement in covering this case came on Tuesday morning, uh, February 7th of 2007. She was set to be released from the Orange County Jail and my editor Don Walker asked me uh, to go over and cover her release and find out why on earth she would do something like this. I think readers are going to enjoy this book, both true crime fans and also space history fans, because there's a lot of details in it that I did not have the room to tell when I was writing for Florida Today, uh, and also details that I didn't have. Uh, after I left Florida Today, uh, I obtained copies of her psychiatric evaluations by two psychiatrists, and there are details in there about her childhood and about what happened and about her breakdown that have never been seen before by the public. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff.